Okay, that is about Sipla. So let me take it forward and talk about Gale because that is also due to report its second quarter numbers today and not looking like a good quarter for Gale because the macros are not that great. We saw gas prices going through the roof and Gazprom shipments were also delayed for the company. So overall, a revenue decline of 6% this time, leading to an EBITDA decline of 40% and margin decline of almost 400 basis points for the company. Also, a profit decline of 31.5% at 2,000 crore rupees is expected for Gale this time around. As I said, across the board, there was weakness, lower volumes and profitability in the gas transmission and gas marketing businesses expected. Gas marketing, remember, is the most volatile segment of the company. Transmission will be impacted by lower gas allocation because there were not enough gas uh, volumes available. And that is why there is an expectation of 4% quarter on quarter decline in transmission volumes this time around marketing will be impacted by two reasons one there were no shipments from Gazprom or limited shipments from Gazprom because of sanctions and there were uh, spreads were declining uh, in oil versus Henry hub gas prices as well so Gale tends to uh, it tends to be negative for Gale EBIT loss will be expected in the pet chem business uh, lower realizations that is something we saw in IOCL's numbers and reliance numbers as well and decline in LPG production is also expected which will impact realization so in the LPG segment there is an expectation of a 15% decline and that is something that will impact margins so all over across the board weakness is expected for Gale this time around